Dwayne here from The Runner, and we're gonna review the Ciccone Triumph 20. The Triumph 20 is Ciccone's premium high cushioned neutral road running shoe, coming in at a weight of 274 grams and premiumly priced at $250. Uh, we've got a big, thick stack here of midsole, so 37 millimeters in the rear, 27 millimeters in the front, giving us a 10 mil drop. Uh, it's dropped in weight from the previous version. Uh, this version is going to get a score of 7.5 out of 10. Uh, the premium price on this one, I'm giving this a score of 7.5 out of 10. Uh, so the upper, it's a bit of a traditional engineered mesh from Ciccone that's quite breathable. Uh, it's got a really stiff heel counter, so that's solid as a tank. And at the top there, you've got some really plush uh, padding. Uh, that plush padding also rolls into the gusseted tongue that does a really good lockdown of holding that foot down onto the shoe itself. Uh, we've got a nice and new updated lacing system with the updates of the strap on the medial and on the lateral side of the shoe that again, that aid that gusseted tongue to give you that really good lockdown. It's got a Power Run Plus inner sole that's going to add to that uh, stepping comfort. Uh, this upper has worked really well for me. I've found it really comfortable. It's breathable. It fits me true to size. Uh, just be wary that all this extra heel padding here on the edge and on the tongue, it's going to soak up a lot of sweat on the run. But yeah, I'm really happy with the upper. 7.5 out of 10. So the midsole is a huge stack of a brand new formula of Power Run Plus. Uh, so Ciccone claims it is lighter, softer, and more responsive, and I totally agree with Ciccone here. Uh, that, accompanied by this new geometry in the rocker, makes this ride really, really good. So it's a very familiar feeling I found on the run, and for me, it was very endorphin speed rollish. Uh, I was so intrigued by the ride that as soon as I got home, I had to go home and check a pair of Ciccone endorphin speeds, and I checked the geometry of the rocker, side by side and they were nearly identical. Uh, I also put one shoe on each foot and just checked it out and they are very, very similar. I uh, saying that it's got that endorphin feel about it. This shoe still feels great at them slow, easy, easy going paces, but in my opinion, it feels even better if you pick it up just a little bit and you start hitting the sweet spot of that rocker. The versatility of this shoe is absolutely amazing. It's up there with some of the most versatile shoes on the market. I'm so impressed by the ride and the midsole of this, I'm going to give this a 9 out of 10. For the outsole, we've got a fair amount of rubber coverage here that's protecting the uh, Power Run Plus midsole. Uh, it's fairly thick, this rubber, so it's going to boost that durability right up. Uh, the actual is really grippy, and it's actually a bit sticky on the footpath. Uh, so you're not going to be slipping over in this one in the dry conditions. However, in the wet, I have found it a little greasy, and that is uh, true with a lot of Ciccone shoes, utilising this grip here. Also, what I didn't cover, it's got a bit of a decoupled groove here on the bottom, and that's going to add to the softness and energy return of the shoe. So pretty happy with the outsole on this one. 8 out of 10. Okay, so similar shoes or other options out there for this one. So think of the Brooks Glycerin 20, which I just recently reviewed. Uh, the New Balance 1080 is going to have a rocket similar soft ride. And also, the Nova Blast 3 is going to be a really versatile daily trainer as well. Uh, what I'm a little confused about is where the endorphin shift sits in this, because this to me feels more like an endorphin ride than the endorphin shift. So how am I going to be using this shoe? So for me, this is the versatile daily trainer. So if I'm going away for the weekend and I can only take one or two shoes, this one's one of the first ones going in the bag. I can use it for my easy runs, just the daily mileage runs, a long run. And if I want to pick up the pace a little bit and do some tempo work, hey, this one can do that. Uh, I won't give it the thumbs up for threshold and race, uh, just due to the weight. But if you're one of those people that just want one shoe that can do everything, then I'd highly recommend this one. So I really love the Ciccone Triumph 20. Uh, and if you're one of those people out there that just have one shoe that pretty much does it all, and you're not too worried about breaking PBs uh, in your races, then this shoe's not going to let you down. Uh, so for me, 
Is it going into my rotation? Uh, it sure is going into my rotation. And as you can see by the good overall score there, it's a definite buy for me. So how have you guys found the Sakoni Triumph 20? Is this going to be your new shoe? Or you guys out there, do you agree with me that it's got a bit of endorphin speed roll about it? I'd like to hear what you say in the comments below. Alright, thanks for watching guys. And don't forget to subscribe and like the channel. We'll see you next time.